Hello everyone, welcome back to Road Reg. On today's video, we're gonna be answering probably the most important question on the internet right now. What is better on fuel? A VW Golf R or an M140i? So as you can see, there is an extension on Lewis's Golf R, but am I right in thinking, Lewis, that that doesn't make a difference to the wheelbase? It's the same wheelbase? Correct, so the hatch and the Golf R estate share the same wheelbase, all the same running gear, everything's the same apart from I have an extra 79 kilos of weight for the added boot. Don't worry guys, I have taken that weight into consideration because I want to make this test as fair as I possibly can. So I've recruited my lovely girlfriend. She is behind the camera right now and gonna be helping me with the filming, but also she is going to be riding shotgun in the 140. We're as near as makes no difference at a similar weight. Yeah. So, um, and also tire pressures as well. Factory tyre pressures for this. Yep, same for this. I think we should uh, brim the tanks and uh, crack on with this journey. Me too. Let's do it. Let's go. Right. So I think it's going to be really tight. I think there's not going to be much in it. But I think the M140i is going to edge it. Because that nice big, really uh, edge it's really lazy when, you, when you're just cruising around. So you think... The M140i is just going to wedge it. Yeah, I reckon so. I think it's going to be extremely tight. I mean, obviously the Golf R is a two litre, um, but it makes, you know, over 300 horsepower. So obviously to get to that power, it has to make more boost. So I think that's my only advantage. The fact that he's got a more boosted engine. We're both running momentum. Um, this car has been running on momentum the whole, you know, pretty much its whole life, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, so at least, you know, in terms of what fuel we've both had the cars running on, it's pretty fair. But, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a close one. Oh, be interesting to see what this does. Very normal driving. We're both sat here idling while Reg sorts his, uh, sorts his life out, or his cameras. YouTube life, and yeah, should be a nice room, should be fun. Right, here we go. So we have got a lovely route planned this morning and it took me a little while to figure out this route because I didn't want to create a route that would favour any one of the cars in today's fuel challenge. So I have come up with this route. It's 48.7 miles and it's going to take us about one hour and 29 minutes roughly. But yes, I wanted to include lots of A and B roads. In this route, there is elevation, there's lovely corners. It's just a bit of everything. And then at the end, we've got a short bit of dual carriageway that leads us up to the fuel station in Chichester, which is where we're going to be filling up the cars. And yeah, I think this is going to be a great route. It's about 48.7 miles, an hour and 29 minutes long roughly uh, the traffic's probably going to be nice and light this morning so we'll have a good flow of speed but if anyone does get in our way we will just simply overtake them oh. there he is how are we doing fuel wise lewis uh 29.4 29.4 i've got 28.3 oh it's literally like Woo. one mpg consistently so far isn't it i know i know and I think, I think it's going to be interesting because I genuinely don't really know it, who's going to win. I think it's going to be interesting for people watching if they're going to be deciding between the Golf R and the M140i because they might be put off by the fact the 140 is a 3 litre straight 6 and the Golf R is a 2 litre. So some people might just go, oh, that's a 3 litre straight 6. It's going to be horrific on fuel. I'm hoping that this does all right and proves that it's, because it's such a lovely, well-balanced engine, and because of its eighth gear, it, it really helps it in the economy department, you know, you can get away with it. Yeah. So I've only got seven gears. So actually, I think on the, on the way back, when we get onto the kind of motorway or carriageway, that's where you might start clawing it back or getting yourself into the lead. That is true, and that is why I chose a mixture between these kind of roads 
and a dual carriageway because when people think of a fuel challenge, they think of sitting behind a lorry doing 60 miles an hour on a motorway. And I'm like, look, that's not, that doesn't prove anything, right? Yeah. Or they do it based off the kind of car's infotainment MPG, which I know we're doing to a degree, but we're going to compare receipts at the end. So me and Lewis are making really good progress at the moment. The road conditions are good, the traffic is light, and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to compare the main fundamental differences between the M140i and the Golf R, and why those differences matter in this fuel challenge. So let's kick off with Lewis's Golf R. So Lewis's Golf R is the Mark 7.5 generation and the estate version, which adds 50 millimeters to the wheelbase, which in turn gives you a bit more leg room and a bigger boot, and unfortunately adds an additional 80 kilograms to the standard car. Now the M140i comes in two variants, either five door, or three door. I've got the three door, which is slightly lighter than the five door. Now the weight for the three door is 1520 kilograms, which is only a difference of 60 kilograms. And remember, we are carrying a passenger today, which completely negates any weight differences between the two cars. And finally guys, the big one. So the Golf R has a two litre, four cylinder turbocharged engine, making 306 brake horsepower and 400 Newton meters of torque. And the M140i has a three litre straight six turbocharged engine, making 350 horsepower, roughly, because uh, everyone seems to make different power levels on different dynos. So we're just gonna go with 350. <laughs> and 500 Newton meters of torque. Now that is a big difference in capacity, how many cylinders the engine has and power. The Golf R has a seven speed dual clutch transmission known as the DSG gearbox and the M140i has a eight speed torque converter gearbox known as the ZF eight speed. Now the fact that the Golf R has one less gear than the M140i means that the gear ratios are going to be different between the cars. Now that eighth gear, that extra gear could give the M140i a fighting chance in getting anywhere near the economy results of the Golf R. So let's continue and see what happens. I assume you haven't got stop start on. I assume your engine's still idling. Yeah, my engine's still, I don't, I don't, I've coded it out. I absolutely hate that function. I hate it with a passion. Mine's coded out as well. But I can, I can override it so I can switch it. I can switch it on at any point. So we are at the halfway point, guys. I'm gonna nip to the loo, I'm sure Lewis will too, and I'm gonna grab a nice cup of coffee because uh, I haven't had one yet, and um, I'd quite fancy one. So uh, yeah, nice little break, and then we'll continue our journey. We've done the B road now, we had a lovely clear run. Yeah. That was really, really nice. Yeah. Really, you should win. Well. You should win this. Well, on so you paper. have a two litre four cylinder. But where this is going to get interesting is this is an eight speed automatic. This is a seven speed automatic. Yeah. So I think when we sit at 70 on the dual carriageway motorway, you're going to be in gear eight, I'll be in gear seven, and that's where you're going to claw it back. But the truth will be told when we head back yeah. to the petrol station and we bring the tanks and we compare receipts. In about 25, 30 minutes. Yeah, so should we crack on? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. So we are on the final leg of the journey, the dual carriageway. Now I think at this point me and Lewis had run out of things to say and we were enjoying our hot drinks. The question we all want to know is, what is better on fuel on this particular day and this particular journey? A BMW M140i or a VW Golf R? Two very, very different hot hatches. So let's continue the journey and get to that fuel station. So, 
The challenge is complete, Lewis. It sure is. And uh, one of us has won and one of us has lost. Yeah, same petrol, same petrol station, mm -hmm. but we didn't watch each other fill and we have pretty much brimmed again. Yep. Uh, so a couple of clicks on the pump. Couple of clicks on the pump. Uh, oh, I've got the wrong receipt. Oh, Reg. See the Bear fuel with. economy video and you've got the wrong receipt. You can't make this stuff up. Oh. This is where he has to overlay the sponge. I've got it. Sometime later. I've got it. Oh, finally. Who wants to go first? I don't mind. I'll go yeah. first because I think I've won. I think you have won. I think I've won. <laughs> so go for it. I have put 8.38 litres in, which was a cost of £12.90. So I put in 9.1 litres. There it is, there it is. And it was £14 on the nose. £1.10 pence difference between the 2 litre Golf R and the 3 litre M140i. Yeah, I think what it proves is how close the cars are. Yeah. And if anything, it's a moral victory for the B58 because this is a straight six, there's, 3 litre. There's no victory here. This is well, clear. This is victorious. I mean, this on is, paper. This is the winner, Reg. On paper, Reg, yes. you lost, man. I did, lost. I lost, I take, lost. No, take it. I'm taking it. Not that I'm a bad winner or anything. It's okay, it's okay. So there we are. Golf R versus M140i Fuel Economy Challenge. If you want the more economical car, buy the Golf R. If you want a three litre straight six with real wheel drive, that buy one. an M140i. <laughs> Anyway, it's been really, really fun making this video. Thanks to Georgina behind the camera. Thank you to Lewis That's for fine. helping me. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to Road Reg. Uh, hit that like button and leave us a comment if you're feeling friendly. Take care, guys.